students welcome in this youtube channel uh, today i brought for you extra question of ap and the question is if mth term of an ap is 1 by n and nth term is 1 by m show that the sum of m n terms is 1 by 2 m n plus 1 so before doing this question we will have two formulas with us and in this ap first formula is to find the general term of an AP. So that formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. So this is to find the general term of an AP. And then to find the sum of n terms of an AP, then formula is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here I want to tell you a is the first term and the d is the common difference. n is the number of term like nth term like second term third term that is n right so we'll use these two formulas to solve this question first of all what is given in the question mth term of an ap is 1 by n so it means it is given that mth term is am that is given to you 1 by n and nth term is given 1 by m so it means nth term is given 1 by m so i want to tell you First of all, in these type of questions, we need to find out value of A and D. So our main focus is on to find the value of A and D. Then if A and D are with us, we can find anything. So let's start and let's do to find A and D. So AM, we can apply this formula. AM is A plus M minus 1 into D. Okay is equal to 1 by n here and what is a n a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 1 by n so if i subtract this equation 1 this equation 2 so subtracting 2 from 1 i'll get here minus sign minus sign because signs are changed when we are doing subtraction so a and a cancelled so if d taken common so what is left inside m minus 1 and here minus n here minus n minus is plus 1 and here 1 by n minus 1 by m is left so let's see further uh, here minus 1 plus 1 is cancelled what is left m minus n into d and here if i take lcm the lcm is m n so here what is left m into 1 is m minus n into 1 is n so here if you see numerator of both the sides are same so can be cancelled so we have here the value of d as 1 over m n so now we'll put the value of d in equation 1 and get the value of a also so we'll write here put d is 1 over m into n uh, in equation 1 so let's see a plus m minus 1 into d is mn is equal to 1 over n so a plus m into 1 over mn mm cancel 1 by n is left minus 1 into this is minus 1 over mn is equal to 1 over n so from here 1 over n 1 over n cancelled so what is left a is equal to this will go to right hand side it becomes 1 over mn so this is the value of a and this is the value of d so I told you if A and D are there with us, we can find anything. So he is asking that find sum of M N term that should be this. So let's see what is sum of M N terms. We'll use this formula. So that is N by 2 here N is M N. So it becomes M N over 2, right? So 2A plus N minus 1. N is here M N minus 1 into D. So here we'll fill the value of a and d and get the answer. So let's fill. So mn over 2, 2a. So a is here, sorry, 1 over mn. So 2 into 1 over mn is 2 over mn only plus mn minus 1 into d. d is 1 over mn only. So let's do here. In, so this side it is. Uh, s m n is equal to so it is m n over 2 into so if you see here it is 2 over m n plus if you multiply m n uh, with this 1 over m n you will get 1 
minus m in 1 into 1 over mn is 1 over mn only right so let's see further sum of mn term is mn over 2 so here you can take mn lcm so see what is left inside it is left 2 plus here mn here minus here 1 right so let's see further what will be so it is s mn is equal to mn over 2 mn plus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 okay so over mn so mn mn will be cancelled so what is left s mn is equal to it is 1 by 2 and mn plus 1 so this way we will prove this question thanks for watching